body language and gesturing. Can you give us any tips about actually presenting? Like, what do you see out in the field? So what I'd like to do for you at this point is just reenact for you some of the strange and incredible things we've caught some of your fellow professionals doing on videotape. Men have a tendency to speak with their hands in their pockets. Now, you probably don't think this is such a big deal, except that after a while, the energy's got to come out of somewhere, doesn't it? And they begin to do what we call the chicken, because their arms are just kind of flapping back and forth. Now, if their collar is a little tight or their shirt is a little tight, it will give a complete rooster effect when you're watching the playback on the tape. Now, my absolute favorites are the gentlemen that play with their keys and fiddle with their change. After a while, you're kind of wondering just what the heck it is they're doing down there. Now, women are just as bad. Women are constant groomers. Women are constantly touching their hair and touching their clothes and fiddling with their skirts. And women typically have more energy that runs through their body at any given time than men do. We have other people who are scared to death to gesture, so they want to keep their arms locked behind their back. And then it looks like they're struggling to get away. Uh, or they want to keep their arms locked at their sides, so they gesture from here and they do what we call the penguin. And then, of course, there's the ever-popular fig leaf. And sometimes the fig leaf gets exposed which is weird. So it's just something to think about. But my absolute favorite came from a colleague of ours. His name was Ed Riley. There was a gentleman in his group that would get so nervous he would play with the buttons on his shirt. And in the course of his presentation, he had unbuttoned his shirt and then buttoned it back up again. And then he unbuttoned his shirt and he buttoned it back up again. We had no idea if he was coming or going. And when he watched the playback on the tape, he said, oh my gosh, Terry, how long have I been doing that? And I said, I don't know. And he goes, it's kind of creepy. And I go, it's a little creepy. So again, the message here is getting once a year, once a year, get your sales presentation on videotape so that you can see and hear yourself as your clients do. And when you do, you can make those small little tweaks and modifications that can make a really big difference. 